Hey guys! Hey guys! Today we're gonna talk about Japanese mistakes that Japanese people make, including you. But not me, because I'm perfect. Just kidding, my <laughs> Japanese isn't even good enough to tell most of these are mistakes, so today I'm just gonna sit here and shut up. <laughs> All the mistakes we're going to talk about today are the ones that I have made in the past, so basically today I'm gonna just tell the world how stupid I am as Japanese. That's not true. Jun just really likes correcting people's grammar because he's a grammar Nazi. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, the easiest way to get online with a website or domain. So there are two kanji for eggs. One is this, and the other one is this. Do you know the difference? This one's hard boiled? Yeah, exactly. And this one is for raw eggs. Only, this kanji is only used for cooked eggs. Any kind of cooked eggs, so not just hard boiled. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. I was able to use this kanji for cooked eggs, but I actually didn't think about the difference between these two. Mm -hmm. So when I was asked by foreign students, like, hey, what's the difference between these two? Like, um, and I wasn't able to answer right away, which is a shame. So this is the first mistake I made. I didn't know. That's one of the biggest reasons you know all of these is because you've been asked by foreigners so many times yeah. who are learning the language. Right? And every time they ask and I wasn't able to answer, so I was just ashamed. Then you look at no, it's good because then you look it up and then you know. Yeah, it's good for everyone. I would just wish that I should have known. <laughs> All right, you. What number two? Ojisan and Ojisan. Do you know the difference? I do because you told, <laughs> you told me this one before. So then, what about this one? Uh this one. This so weird. There's nothing on the screen right now <laughs> while we're recording this. Whatever. But I know which one Jim's talking about. This is the one for the uncle that is older. Yeah. Uh, if. So uncle, if your uncle is older than your mother or father, then you use this kanji. And the other one is the other one, so the, ver the opposite. So if the uncle that's younger. Younger than your mother or father, then you have to use this kanji for uncle. Are both of these as commonly used as each other in Japan? Yes, it's just some people like me <laughs> didn't know the difference, so sometimes people get confused. So you just kind of use them interchangeably? Yeah. Do you think it's mm. not as common knowledge anymore because it's not as important anymore, the age of birth? I, I think it's still like a common sense that you should know if you're Japanese. So the rest of these are all kanji mispronunciations. A lot of kanji have multiple readings. Yeah. And that's why if you don't know what the correct reading is, sometimes it's easy to make a mistake and read it one way when it's supposed to be read a different way. Yeah. So that's what all of these are. Right. If you have Japanese friends, then you can ask these questions and test how their Japanese, how good their Japanese is. But don't let them watch this video first. <laughs> there is a four kanji character idioms called kiki ippatsu, and the kanji kiki means like a dangerous, and the the, the second half of kanji ippatsu, so like one string of hair, mm -hmm. like even slightest thinnest mistake as a string of hair, can ruin everything. Ah, uh, so you're like on the edge. On the very edge. Yeah. 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 For some reason, I always thought the last kanji was not the hair, but the kanji hatsu, kiki ippatsu. <laughs> and as a lot of people know, that's the name of this toy, pop up tire. <laughs> it's a dangerous game. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> I think you should just use it that way. I think that's way better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not serious anymore. It's just that guy. <laughs> Did anyone else make that pop-up pirate mistake? Like, did you look that up online? Is anyone else doing that or is that just you? <laughs> Probably I'm the only one in this entire world who make that kind of stupid mistake. <laughs> so the next one is a word for possible, which is this. Do you know how to read this one? Arieru? That's what I thought too. But no, it's actually Uru, so that's how you read. You ha I See, I've never heard Uru because you always say Arieru. We can say arieru too, but when you use this kanji, then it should be read uru. Uh -huh. Although you can read this kanji as e as well, mm -hmm. like eru means gain, and that's what, that's how when you use this kanji. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really confusing. Oh, but technically, it's arieru. Yes, arieru. Have you ever heard someone say arieru? Yeah, it's really common. Oh. It's just we didn't think about it, but we didn't know. Or you you, mean you didn't think about it. Yes, I didn't think about it. <laughs> All right, the next one is actually the name of a prefecture in Japan. So there is a prefecture called Ibaraki. You're right, but which actually, we just went to. <laughs> we have a lot of videos about them. If you want to watch them on our other channel, yes, it's supposed to be pronounced Ibaraki, but a lot of people pronounce this prefecture Ibaragi. Really? Yeah, Ibaragi. Really? Yes. Why? 
Good question. I don't know exactly why, but a lot of people read this kanji ibaragi. In America, there's a state called Arkansas,、uh -huh. and when I was really, really little, yeah, Arkansas. And when I was really, really little, I used to pronounce it Arkansas because it has the word Kansas in it, and Kansas is another state. Uh huh. So I called it Arkansas. I guess it's kind of silly. <laughs> it's not. It's Arkansas. Yeah. The last one. It's so embarrassing, but I'm gonna have to tell you guys. So the kanji for perfect. I know this one. <laughs> this is like this is first year Japanese again too. All right, if you know the kanji for perfect, please write it down now, like now, now, and see if you're wrong or correct. Kanbeki. So this is how you write kanbeki,、mm -hmm. and this very right bottom part of this kanji,、uh -huh. it's a lot of people write tsuchi, which means sand. It's、mm -hmm. a kanji for wall,、mm -hmm. and you can also read this kanji heki or peki too,、mm -hmm. but it's actually not. It's tama or gyoku. If you type kanpeki、uh -huh. on your phone or your computer, shouldn't it automatically select the correct kanji for you? A lot of people write this kanji instead. You see the difference? The bottom is different. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So you, when they're physically writing it down. Yeah. But you can't make that mistake when you're typing. Yes. Because your computer will tell you the correct kanji. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't even realize it because it's so similar. When you're writing it. Yeah. That's okay. No one writes anymore. You, know, <laughs> you only write when you have to fill out forms. Everything else is typing. That's when you get embarrassed, <laughs> like me. Okay. I I type so much now that when I actually have to fill out a form in Japanese, it really takes me a long time to remember the kanji, and sometimes I have to go look it up again because I've just forgotten. Like you learn all of this stuff in school because you have to physically write it down,、mm -hmm. but then you never write again <laughs> like later in life. I never write anything. That's、uh, like a modern problems. All these people <laughs> who are living in modern society have. We just type, and we just forget all these kanji when we learn when in school. I'm glad that I learned all of these while I was in college,、uh -huh. before I graduated. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have been able to make this kind of mistake after I start working for a company. I think it's fine. It's fine to make mistakes. It's fine to make a mistake, but you don't want to keep making the same mistake. Yeah, that's that's it. So you make a mistake, and then you learn the correct way to do it. And then you don't make the mistake anymore. Yeah. So hopefully this video was somewhat helpful for <laughs> Japanese people who made the kind of same mistake as me too. Let let you know if you've made the same mistake so you can make him feel better. He feels <laughs> really embarrassed. <laughs> I probably get a lot of comments like, well, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you really Japanese?" This video is sponsored by Squarespace, where Jun is creating his own website for、yep. Jun Kitchen right now. Yep. They have a very intuitive platform with. Tons of beautiful modern design templates, so you don't have to design anything yourself, which is really good for us because we are not the most design savvy yeah, people. No experience. <laughs> They're very, very lovely. They have templates for anything you could possibly want, whether、mm. you're an artist and you want a page to display your work and accept commissions, or if you own a restaurant and you want a place for people to make reservations. Anything you can want, they have it. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and if you're ready to get online, go to squarespace.com/rachelandjune. To get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.